Okay, child. So skew is back in session, okay? And we have a lot of material to go over and review. It's all about the Love is Blind Season 4 after the altar. I'm sure y'all done seen the episodes. And if you have not, episode 14, 14 through 16, I'm going to break them down for you. So anyway, let's talk about it, y'all, because I'm telling you, some people are going to be in trouble. Some people are going to be in trouble. They're going to get suspended, and we might give out a few awards. So I don't know yet, but we're going to see. Y'all remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to share, because sharing is caring, okay? Now, don't just be here. Be clear. Engage, baby. Thank you. I sure appreciate it. So let's get into it, y'all. So these episodes are catching up with all of the couples as they approach their one-year anniversary. And it show it's basically a love experiment where people are matched without seeing each other. And then they have to rely on emotional connections versus physical connections. And then they have to see each other and see if their connection was really as strong as they thought it was before they saw each other. It's, uh, season four, After the Altar, it wasn't that interesting. It had a few little parts on there, but we're going to talk about it anyway. See if anybody needs some uh, some discipline or some 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 help. We're going to figure it out. Okay, so anywho, so just to recap, the three couples who ended up getting married this season were Zach and Bliss. It was Brett and Tiff, and we had Kwame and Chelsea. <coughs> I'm sorry. It was hard to get that one out, y'all. I still, I, mm. <sighs> okay, I still don't buy that one right there, but okay. Anywho, okay, so the episode starts off with Brett and Tiff. They on a little romantic date. They on cloud 10. Uh, it's a spinning restaurant, so they just having them a good old time. And so, uh, basically, Tiffany moved to Portland to be with Brett because, as you guys know, he works for Nike, and she was living in Seattle uh, during the experiment. So, she went on and made that move for her hubs. I ain't mad at her. Go ahead, girl. So, anyway, from the start of the episode, these two are looking pretty happy like they always do. Good for them because, you know, I seem like they, I think that they really genuinely care for one another. Although, I did have my radar on Brett, y'all. I'm not going to lie. During the season, he, I know he's a fan favorite, but I was kind of leery about him. I don't know, but he's growing on me. So, I'm rooting for them. I hope that they continue to have a good, happy, healthy marriage and they continue to date because it's a year in and they still dating and, you know, doing their thing. So, Oh, that's sweet. So, um, we're just gonna hope the sweet guy thing wasn't just an act, okay? Now I'm gonna leave him alone now. But anywho, so next we see Zach and Bliss, and I love, 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 love these two together. They so like weird, but like in a good way. They can be goofy, silly, and it's okay. I really like it. So, and y'all, I was so upset when he picked Irina over Bliss. When I tell you he was gonna get expelled from skew, he was gonna get expelled. I was done with him, okay? I thought he was a cool dude. I was gonna let him go, but he's still here. They made it through. I like that whole little vibe. I, I just love it. Oh, and I like that beard. Y'all see the beard? He got a little beard on his face. We're gone here, Zach and Bliss. So kudos to y'all. Y'all are my, my favorite couple. Okay, so now, now for the troublemaker. Now for the troublemaker. Now, I don't know if y'all feel the same way I do, but next on the scene was Kwame and Chelsea. Oh, my draws. I, I just can't. I, I honestly don't get why Chelsea is so, like, sick wet puppy over this guy. Like, I mean, he just does not seem to be in love, okay? It's just not giving the lovey-dovey to me. But she's sitting there with the doughy eyes, the lovey eyes, and I really hope this guy is not just playing with her or just in it for the moment just because they're on tv like that i don't know i don't know it just seems like he's not really present he's there but he's not present and if it wasn't for the alcohol it seems like there's always alcohol involved in this show if it wasn't for the alcohol i don't think kwame could do it i don't think he can do it i don't think he, he could keep that act going for so long it just doesn't seem very genuine that's just my personal opinion and i know a lot of people like him and chills together but uh -uh, i feel like they were just trying to make the one year anniversary special he still want to be on tv child i just Kwame, yeah, Kwame, I'm sorry, I don't know if y'all don't agree, but Kwame is going after Skew suspension, okay? I'm sorry, indefinitely. And he also going to be in Saturday Skew, because I can't, he earned it. He going to Saturday Skew, he going to be after Skew suspension. I, I can't do it with this guy. Mm -mm. He, he seems like he is calculating and uh, uh, thinking. He's thinking before every kiss. See, if you look at it, you can tell his mind is is going while, right before he kisses her each time. And I'm like, oh, I just want to like, I just want to, I just want to grab Chelsea and just be like, girl, let it go. But hey, <sighs> I digress. Yeah, you know what? Matter of fact, Chelsea, you, Chelsea gonna come in for early, early morning tutorials because she just don't get it. She just don't get it. She ain't got it yet. So she gonna have to come in for early, early morning tutorials and we gonna help, we gonna help her get it together because I'm not, mm-mm, no, mm -mm. But anyway, but look at this kiss. Like he kissed her, he kissed her and he looked at the camera like, see, I told you guys I, I love her. See, I'm kissing my wife. It's my wife right here. See, I like that. 
surrogate. <laughs> Girl, you could, Chelsea, you could do better than that. I'm sorry. Let him have Micah. Let him and Micah have each other. Like, uh, no. <sighs> but anyway, so yeah, so we're seeing Kwame, Chelsea, Bliss, and Zach. They were um, shown at a baseball game. I don't know a lot about uh, baseball, even though my son played it for uh, three years. Chelsea throws out the first pitch, the starter pitch. Boring. Everybody was on the field and stuff. So that's what it was. And that was really all. That's all it was, folks. Next, we show Micah. Micah's sitting at a meeting with Paul's mama, okay? And if you remember, Paul turned Micah down at the altar. We're, here we are a year later, and she's sitting there with Paul's mama. And I believe her name was Elizabeth. And uh, she wants Micah to be with her son. That's point blank, period, okay? She tells Micah that Paul is talking to some other woman. And no worries. She gonna get rid of old girl for if Micah wants her to do so. She says, just say the word, baby. I'm, I'm on it, okay? <laughs> okay, all right, Miss Elizabeth. Liz ain't playing, okay? She ain't playing by Micah. But yeah, if she does hurt somebody, I'm gonna just put that out there. If she does hurt somebody behind Micah and Paul, then she gonna get it spilled for sure. That's all I had to say. I just had to put that out there. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. You're going to have to get it spilled. We're going to have to get rid of you, okay? We're going to have to get rid of your child, okay? We're going to keep an eye on her for now because she seemed like she bought that life. So, anyways, we get to see that. Jackie and Josh are still together, y'all. Womp, womp. I just hate the way that she was so cold with Marshall. Like, you ain't got to be with the guy, but dang, you you did him dirty, dirty, girl. You did him you did him dirty, girl. And, and Marshall don't seem like he that, that hard, like, to where you can treat him the way that you treated him like it was a better way to do that with marshall mm -mm. i don't think her and marshall was supposed to be together anyway and her and josh ain't meant to be together either but hey she chose to be with the drunk smart guy all grown up over marshall so there you go let her have it and she said she loved him ears y'all quit talking about her quit talking about her mans quit talking about her mans and his ears she loved them ears she be licking on them ears and she really said that she said she be licking on them ears <laughs> oh, I just had. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But anyway, yeah. Mm. She said the internet was big mad with her, okay? She said, don't be mad at me because I picked my boo thing over Marshall, okay? Marshall just wasn't the one, okay? She told y'all she want her dude. She could sit on a stoop. She could watch them cars pass and they could sip them some 40s, you know, and talk about people. That's all. There you go. And they moving in together, okay? Josh sitting there talking about, oh, yeah, see, they ain't think we'll make it, baby. They ain't believe in us, baby. They ain't think we'll boss up, baby. You see us, baby. Ugh. Anyway, they on a Ferris wheel. And she was like, baby, do something romantic. Just uh, feed me. Feed me some food or something. They was eating some grapes or some onions or something. I don't know what it was. And, baby, he took that thing and threw it in, at her head. Like, he threw it at her head. Whatever it was. I think it was a big old grape or something. And he hit it in the face. That is not cute. That's not funny. Josh, he has his unhumorous humor. Ugh, I can't do it. I'm done with these guys, okay? And that was the end of that scene. So let's go somewhere else, child. Oh, oh my drawers. <sighs> okay, I'm done talking about them. Josh, you're going to have to skew detention, baby. You got to go. I'm sorry. You're going to have to skew detention. I got to sing it out because you don't throw stuff at people. That's what you don't do. You don't throw food at people. And Jackie, you, you ain't got to worry about you. You just, you just enjoy it. But you ain't going to see him after skew because Josh got after skew detention. Oh, we ain't going to put her in nothing because she got just what she wanted, just what she deserved. She wanted her little, you know, a little... Little got a little little roughness on him, and, and now she got him. So there you go, there you go, baby. Now on to the next scene. What we saw was everybody at the dinner table. Everybody went to this little fancy place. It was Zach and Bliss. It was Brett and Tiff, and then that was Kwame and Chelsea. Now everybody is sitting there talking about how they've been dating and traveling and just enjoying each other, having a good old time. But then it gets to Kwame and Chelsea. Chelsea is saying that she wishes that she could do more traveling with Kwame. She knows that he really liked to travel a lot when they met. That was part of his lifestyle. But due to her job, she can't do as much traveling as she would like. So they haven't experienced all that the other couples have experienced. And like she gets really emotional and she starts crying and, you know, talking to Kwame. And, you know, I, I didn't know how much you, I didn't know how much you had sacrificed for me, Kwame. Oh, I love you, boy, Kwame, Kwame, Kwame. Me. Ooh, cry me a river, girl. Cry me a river. You can float up out of there because you are lost in the sauce, baby. And and Kwame just sitting there like that with his goofy face. Like, okay. And there's no genuine engagement. That's how I feel. And so, like, when they're in the confessional talking, he's saying, yeah, well, I, I mean, I will say that I'm definitely ready to get back, you know, into doing more activities, doing more things with with Chelsea. At that point, I think he had forgot her name. I just can't. But Chelsea is like head over heels in love with this man. And I think Kwame's doing it just to be on the show. 
Oh, so anyway, when they were at the table, Zach and Bliss were saying that they wanted to do like a fantasy football game with everybody, even though some cast members still have issues with each other. Let's try to put them to the side and let's go have some fun. Okay, so the next episode starts off with two people walking down the sidewalk. I could tell one was Marshall. I didn't know who the other person was. Come to find out it was his girlfriend, Shay. He's been with her for a year, okay? So they're going to meet Britt and Tiffany at a, looks like a restaurant or whatnot. And I kid you not, Marshall can't be all the way happy or maybe he's just trying to cover up that wound that Jackie left on him because that young man is he's like he's halfway trying to convince himself that this is what he wants because it just doesn't seem very authentic and he's like yeah like we're perfect she's like my yin to my yang and we're like complete opposites but we mesh so well and so like I asked her to be with me on July 15th and it's been just great ever since. Sir, you running down the dates and everything to us. You really want us to believe this, don't you? <laughs> you really want us to believe what you're cooking. Okay. You just have to see it. his face and his, his laughs. You just got to pay attention to him because he, he, he a little deeper than what we think. I think he got some layers we ain't really uncovered yet. But it's some other stuff going on with Marshall, if y'all know what I mean. Mm-hmm. All right now. Y'all, during this episode, Marshall says he's happy about 10, 11 times. Okay, I promise you. So... If you keep telling people you're happy, I'm happy, bro. Hey, I'm super happy, bro. Hey, I'm happy, man. You, you, you Nine times out of ten, you ain't that happy. Mm -mm. Okay, Marshall, we watching you too. You and Shay, we watching you and the doctor. Okay. But yeah, anyways, the next scene was a real short one. It was just Micah meeting up with her friend Shelby and Irina. If you guys remember Irina, she was the one that Zach proposed to. Zach was choosing between Bliss and Irina, and he chose Irina, which she was one of the mean girls, and he realized that when she started being mean to him. Oh my, y'all, <laughs> if you have not watched Love is Blind season four all the way through, you need to watch it so you can see Zach and Irina's interaction. She was not having it. She was not attracted to that guy. She wasn't feeling that guy, and she did my boy Zach so bad. I just, she's still in trouble, y'all, for that. She she actually under the school. You heard about somebody getting buried under the jailhouse? She got buried under the school house. But anyway, y'all, so Micah tells her friends that she's done with Paul. She wants closure. She's just done. And she's ready to move on. So hopefully Paul don't think there's any more chances because baby Micah is done, okay? So the next scene, you see Jackie and Keisha sitting at a bar somewhere. Keisha was one of the pod girls. And so she's sitting there with Keisha and they're talking and baby, they start burning up uh, Marshall talking about he's blocked. He been Both of them done blocked him on their phone. She like, girl, you blocked him? She like, girl, I blocked him. She said, like, girl, me too. I had to block him, girl. He be apologizing every day, every hour. I'm tired of it. And so they just don't like that. <laughs> oh, Marshall, baby. You... If y'all remember, Keisha and Marshall started dating after Jackie left Marshall. And Jackie said, baby, you can have him. Remember, Marshall was trying to get the ring back from Jackie and she wouldn't give it back to him because she said he was trying to give it to another cast member. And come to find out, it was Keisha. He was trying to propose to Keisha. So, baby, they both got him blocked. Okay, so let's get to a different part of the uh, episode. So we get to Chelsea's aunt's house, and her family is there. They're about to have a little dinner, um, and Kwame and his brother and his sister come. I believe it's Chelsea's birthday. They're all there, and they're eating and stuff. And Chelsea made some jollof rice. Kwame's sister told her, showed her how to make it, so now Chelsea said, baby, I taste it, and it's so good, and... They were saying that jollof rice meant so much to Kwame because that was his first meal that his mom ever cooked him. Because I guess his mom and dad came to the States prior to him and his siblings. And so when they came, uh, she made them some jollof rice. After they talk about the jollof rice story, Chelsea gets back on her emotional with Kwame a River. And Kwame a River is just sitting there. But, you know, oh. so she gets to telling the story about that she uh, finally got to go do Thanksgiving with Kwame's family. And she said that when she left, she, it hit her heart where she needed to reach out and let Kwame's mom know how much she cared about her son. So she wrote a really heartfelt card, and she ended up sliding it under the mom's door. Now, I don't know if she slid it under her bedroom door because the mama never came out the room during the Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> I don't know what the heck she meant, but she she slid up under somebody's door because I, I ain't never seen nobody sliding it under somebody's front door, whatever. But she was like, you know, she sent it to her and she said she felt like a shift after that. She says now she felt like Mama Kwame River knows how she feels about Kwame. And so it sounded like I mean, she was saying, I think. She said, I think a lot. Like, I think she received it. I think I think she knows now how much I care about Kwame. And so it sounds like Mama Kwame River still ain't talking to Chelsea, okay? Because it's too much thinking going on. It's just red flags, baby. Chelsea, and then Chelsea started crying. She started crying. She started to Kwame a River again. And then they did, like, this little funky fake kiss at the table. 
Okay, that's how she got a verbal warning. She gonna go to before skewed tutorials because she ignoring all the red flags. We didn't gave her verbal warnings. Oh, she gonna have to go in there and learn, baby. She gonna have to get that game up because they they cooking up some fresh game up in that early morning tutorial. Anyway, next we are gonna go to back to uh. Josh and Jackie. Well, they moving into their little apartment already. It was just so weird. Like, they're standing there talking, and he's asking her, like, dang, you're talking, but you're not taking anything out of the boxes, or you're not unpacking or something. Like, the vibe that he gives is like a straight homeboy. Like, first off, you're a lady. Who doesn't want their man to treat them like a lady? We could play sometimes. That's cool. Ha ha, kiki, kiki, woo woo. But you not finna talk to me like I'm your homeboy. Like, you done friends on me, but we still, like, no, we're not doing that. Like, that's too much. He, he talks to her like she's one of the boys, like, literally. I don't like it but hey if she likes it if that's what she came for baby to each his own mm -mm, baby mm -mm. so anyway wait do y'all remember when he <laughs> but y'all remember when he came in that's like come in miss us there yo girl uh earlier in this season <laughs> i could not stop laughing there's a smart guy looking but that that was funny but anyway so he, he's talking to the camera and he's telling us that you know it's really no rush me and jackie are moving in together we're doing big things you know you know good things like this you know they take time we're gonna take our time uh and we don't need a ring right now that's what we don't need we don't need a ring right now Okay, yeah. Baby Jacket, I hope you happy. Anyways, on the next scene, he gets to talking about uh, they got room for a stripper pole in there in the house. And this and the, huh? Oh, so you think I'm finna be swinging and banging all around the pole? Okay, and you don't want to put no ring around my... Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, mm. Okay, Jackie. Yeah, I wish I, I wish them the best. I wish them the best, y'all. I do. I'm, you know what? We gonna pray for them. Anywho, so now we at the flag football. It's flag football time. They got a team, two teams, Golden Gobs or Goobers and the Paw Squad. So everybody out there playing, baby. Kwame came in with his, baby, he was giving us all leg. I mean, all leg. It was so much leg, baby. It, that, it was a dress code violation. It was so much leg. I'm talking about, baby, legs for days. I didn't know if he had on Chelsea shorts. He had them on. Okay. Anyway, dress code violation. But yeah, so here we go. Chelsea and Micah end up sitting down talking, right? Remember, those were the ones that Kwame was choosing between, Chelsea and Micah. Micah is telling Chelsea, like, you know what? I appreciate how you handled the situation because, remember, Micah was still kind of flirting with Kwame when she saw him outside of the pods. And Kwame, you could tell he kind of liked that attention. He was feeling it. He was like, yeah, mm-hmm. Check me out. And he kind of, you know, liked Micah. So that's what Chelsea let her know because Micah starts off saying, hey, girl, so how are you and Kwame doing? And when I tell you, Chelsea said, babe, me and Kwame are doing so good i'm like everything is so great it's like perfect you know i love him so much every every day i love him more and more we have such a strong foundation girl baby when i tell you she was <laughs> baby she was laying it on thicky thick thicky thick extra extra dextra mayo thick like she wasn't playing and you know what Michael say okay that's good helpful but guess what i live here now I live in Seattle now, baby. She was like, girl, it's hard being single out here because I feel like I know everybody here, so it's hard for me to meet people. And so I'm just, like, single. I don't know what to do. Baby, Chelsea here up and shut that down. Chelsea said, baby, you better go to, uh, she said, I don't think your person here. <laughs> I don't think the person for you is here. And Micah's like, well, where could they be? She said, baby, probably in Africa or Brazil or something like that. <laughs> she said, baby, in other words, baby, he ain't here and he ain't Kwame, okay? Okay. So that was that, and the pod squad won. And so now everybody done got cleaned up, squeaky clean, and then coming out for the party. I think it's Chelsea's birthday at a bar. We see Jackie talking to Josh saying, Monica's coming. And I'm like, who? Like, who is Monica? Like, I don't even remember her. But come to find out, Monica is the girl that Josh proposed to when him and, when Jackie chose Marshall. So this is really like his, Monica is his ex fiance child. Like, come on down. She was on her way. So Josh and Jackie, I guess they were going to leave, but I guess they decided to stay. And so when Monica got there, her and Jackie ended up talking. And the thing, the problem was that Monica wants to tell her story that she was proposed to on the show, which that she has every right to. And she said that she called Jackie a few days before she posted her TikTok video and all that, telling her little story on her Love is Blind journey. She told Jackie all this. So I don't know what transpired, but obviously Jackie didn't say, no, girl, don't do that. I ain't going to be your friend no more. Or the girl wouldn't be confused. So anyway, Monica's confused. Like, why are we not friends anymore? Like, what's going on? You know, I don't even have no feelings for Josh. I didn't put it out there that it was Josh and me that were engaged or nothing like that. Like, I've always supported you while y'all go through all y'all bs and this and that and so they actually showed a clip they showed a clip of josh proposing to this girl monica and when they finally got to see each other i'm gonna try to post i'm gonna try to post the clip on a separate video if i get time but they would show the clip of him proposing to her and when he finally got to see her he was like dang girl you thicker than a snooker and that girl didn't like that that girl wasn't even thick she wasn't even remotely thick like and she's like what and then she said it was something like she was like oh my gosh i'm sweating and he was like yeah i can tell or something like 
when the girl closed the door behind her, she was like, oh my gosh, I have married a lunatic. Well, I'm glad you seen it, Monica. I'm glad you seen it. Monica dodged the bullet. And now uh, Jackie's sitting there just enjoying them. I, I don't get it. But anyway, so they sit at the table and Monica's like, I want us to be friends again, this and that. And I don't think Josh wants them to be friends. So she was like, well, can we just talk with Josh? Let's bring Josh over here and we'll talk. So Jackie goes and gets Josh. He come back to the table and baby... When he get over there, he telling her that she's a, he's telling Monica that she's a clout chaser. That's all she is. Oh my jaw, I was like, what, sir? Like, what clout? You ain't that famous. The girl, Monica was like, boy, what is you talking about? She was like, Jackie, how do you deal with him? He's a child. He's so, he's so childish. Like, how do you deal with this guy? Like, he, he is annoying as heck, you know? And baby, Jackie gets up from the table. She says she done. She told him, baby, we done. We finna be done with this show. I'm just done. And they left the party after that. Jackie was upset. But I think it's something deeper going on because she was like low-key shit in tears while she was talking to Monica like I feel like there's something deeper going on with them with her and Josh Josh could be low-key like I don't want to put that out there but like he got something going on his waters they mm -mm, they they funky they funky but anyway I'm gonna put it in the computer and that's that and I ain't gonna lie to y'all that was the end of season four that was it but you know what? I'm looking forward to season five. Like, if you look at reality TV, you see some of these folks need some discipline. Some of them need some game. And we can provide that. That's what we're here for. Baby, y'all y'all stick around. Y'all come on back, okay? And until then, y'all keep me on your playlist and your prayer list. How about that?